Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal, and I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. Today I am bringing you a haul. This is a mix between thrift stores and also some yard sales. So let's see what I got. All of the items that I purchased are right here. I spent $75 and change. I got about 25 items, which is right around $3 per piece, which is right on par with what I like to see. So first I'm gonna start with some hard goods. First up, I got these beautiful blue plates. It has like a hint of green in it. There are two. They're just little saucers or like catch all little containers. They do have a Chinese or Japanese symbol. I did look up this particular pottery name and I can't remember what it is now, but I do have two of them. The next thing is this little pewter mirror or compact, whatever you want to call it. It does have a clasp over here that you open, it does have a mirror, you can see my ring light, and I'm not sure what this was supposed to hold. Maybe a picture of some sort, maybe, oh yes, it comes out. So yeah, there, there's a little lip up here that you're able to take this plastic out, so I would assume some kind of picture. This next item I picked up for super cheap, it was like 25 cents at a yard sale. It's just a little Ipsy bag, but I loved this lemon print, especially for the upcoming season of spring and summer. At the same yard sale, I picked up this cross stitch item. It is the brand Jiffy Stitchery, <laughs> which is kind of fun to say, and it is the Baby Meadow Mouse. I think I looked these up and these go anywhere from 12 to $15. It is unopened and complete and I only spent 25 cents on it. I have two accessories in this haul. First up is this little wallet that is uh, kind of long, but it is bifold. It has all these little pockets in here and things that you can put your credit cards in. I do believe that this is straw or rattan, some type of material like that. And then it does have a little bird picture if you completely unfold it. The second accessory is this leather hat. I obviously loved the color. I thought it was in such good condition. It has this leather braided band around it. It does have some side vents. And this is the brand Walkabout Leather Hats. Um, this is made in Australia. I've never heard of this brand. They do okay for comps at least, and it is a size small. And it does not fit on my head, so I will not be modeling it. <laughs> The clothing is in no particular order, like in terms of where I got it. Um, so these are a pair of J. Jill. This is the Ponte Slim Leg, size 1X, new with tags. And it is that very comfortable Ponte knit. And in the store, I actually only paid 99 cents for these. So that was an awesome score. Next up is a Prana dress. I loved the print on this, the color. I love the neckline and the racer back here. Just a plain little dress. It is missing the style tag, so I'll have to do a little bit of research there. But here is the kind of tag and it is a size medium. Next is the brand Logo by Lori Goldstein. This is a size medium. Loved this sage color, um, kind of reminds me of flowers, but I really think it's just abstract. This is a sleeveless dress. It does have pockets on the side. The hem is kind of asymmetric, but it's only asymmetric on the one side. So I thought that that was interesting and hopefully I can find a stock photo of it to show all of its glory. Next we have a wrinkled shirt. I haven't steamed or done anything to these. This is a Nike Golf. Women's shirt, it is new with tags, it is a size medium, and it's just a short sleeve polo shirt. And that is a women's size medium, which I usually only find at Nike Golf and Men's, so that was exciting. I love this dress. So it is the brand Adriana Papel. Did I say that right? Hopefully. Um, size 12, has this dark blue, um, floral snowflake. I'm not really sure what kind of print you would call that, but it's this lace overlay and it has this nude color underneath and it is just perfect 
for like a wedding or a fancy event that you need to go to. I loved this detail in the back with this scalloped edge. Such good condition. Hopefully this will do well. This is my second time ever finding Lululemon in the thrift store, so that was very exciting. So here is the logo. Lululemon has this purple pinkish band up here, um, and then you turn it around. It has a little media pocket, The this purple stitching. They are a pair of running shorts, and they do have the underwear underneath. This is a pair of Gap 1969 new with tags jeans. These are the sexy boyfriend fit, and I believe they are a cropped length or like an ankle length. And they do have rolled cuffs down here. I did enjoy this color, so that is one reason why I picked it up. Next, we have a pair of American Eagle men's jeans, which I have not purchased American Eagle men's jeans before, so hopefully they do well. This is the newer logo of American Eagle. This is the Next Level Air Flex. These are size 31 by 32 and they are the athletic fit but really nice condition honestly if they were worn they were only worn a couple of times next i have this purse from simply vera vera wang i don't always pick up this brand it kind of has to be special or something that i really enjoy however i will say most of the simple vera vera wang stuff that i've bought has actually sold relatively fast so i'm excited to see how this does so this is like a gunmetal gray and metallic-y. There's all kinds of colors here. Purse, these are metal up here, has a shoulder strap. I liked the patchwork look to it. Does have pockets on the side. And it honestly looks like that this was never even used because it's super clean on the inside. Also in really nice condition is this Fossil men's toiletry bag. It is genuine leather. Um, has a handle up here and then it opens, has some plastic lining in it to protect the bottom and then it actually opens up on the bottom as well so that you can hold more stuff down here. One more bag in this haul. This is Le Sport Sack, navy blue with this polka dot print messenger bag. It is adjustable here and in gently used condition. There are a few small spots on the inside. The lady actually packed it with tissue paper, so I will definitely be reusing that, but it has so many different sections here. Another Simply Vera Vera Wang. I say I never picked this up, and here I have two things, but this was only a dollar, and I thought it was a nice little simple dress, size large, just an abstract print, but nice spring colors. It does have smocking at the waist and kind of like a fit and flare style to it. Found these pair of American Eagle jeans. These are the super stretch skinny and they are size 12, gently used condition. I only paid a dollar for these at a yard sale. These are a pair of Under Armour shorts in this tan or cream color. There's the logo here. This is a size 14 and this is the Under Armour Performance. Cute little pocket back here with the brand. This next jacket I love. So it's nothing exciting in terms of the brand. So it is the Charter Club Jean Shop, size extra large, but I loved this anchor nautical print. It is like a heavy cotton or even canvasy type material. Um, button front, reminds me of a jean jacket essentially, and it is new with tags. It definitely needs a good lint rolling, but I thought this would be really nice for when it starts to turn cold again in the fall months. I stopped at one yard sale that had mostly baby things, and I don't really sell kids clothing, but I thought that this was super, super cute, so I had to pick it up. It has a little moose on it and a Christmas tree, and it is a size six months. This next piece I actually picked up for myself and mine, but it is just a little bit too big, so I will be selling it. It is Lou and Gray by Loft, and it is a size large. It has all of these really cute embroidered like little graphics on it. So there's champagne, there's X's and O's, 
there's hearts, there's another heart with an arrow through it, there's roses. Maybe this is like a Valentine's Day themed shirt or anniversary, but it is super, super soft on the inside. It has a soft fleecy material here and it's in really nice condition. This next item needs a little bit of cleaning. So it is the brand Prana. Again, this is a size small. It has some icky makeup stains in here, but I'm hoping to get it out. And if not, it is on the collar on the inside. So if you snap it up, you can't even see it, but really like this sweater gray with this diamond print on the arms here. has this little logo sewed in. So I will definitely have to do some stain treatment on that, but I am confident that I can probably get most of it out. And it is a polyester, recycled wool, nylon, and other fibers material. And then the last thing I got was this Urban Outfitters jacket. It is a cropped style size medium, but I love, love, love this print. Aztec Southwest is super in right now. Has this off the side zipper, a pocket up here, long sleeves, and it does have zippers on the back of the sleeves too. All right, so that was everything that I picked up in my yard sale and thrift store adventures. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. We would love to have you and I put out videos at least once a week. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.